Find the coordinates and nature of each of the stationary points on the curve y equals 2x cubed minus 6x plus 5. You must show all your working. So I've paraphrased the question here. So here's the cubic then. So let's get find the stationary points. So dy dx is the gradient function. Power rule, 3 comes down, 3 2 is a 6. x to the 1 less than 3, which is 2. x differentiates to 1, and there's minus 6 lots of it. And the constant goes to 0. Let that equal 0 to find the turning points. And we see that that implies that 6x squared is equal to 6. That tells us that x squared equals 1, doesn't it? And in turn, that tells us that x is equal to plus or minus 1. So there's our turning points then, our stationary points. Um, okay, so let's get the second derivative. Differentiate once more. 12x to the 1 minus 0. Because a constant differentiates to 0. So that's 12x. And when it's plus 1, it's equal to 12, 1 to 12. And when it's minus 1, it's equal to minus 12. So it's equal to 12 when x equals 1, and equal to minus 12 when x equals minus 1. So max when x equals minus 1, because it's negative, so a maximum. And min when x equals was positive, it's a minimum when x equals 1. So what are the coordinates then? So x equals 1. Oops. So at x equals 1 then, y is equal to, put 1 in here, 2 times 1 cubed, minus 6 times 1, plus 5. So it's 2, because that's 1 there, 2 ones are 2, plus 5 is 7, minus 6 is 1. And at x equals minus 1 then, y is equal to 2 times minus 1 cubed, minus 6 times minus 1, plus 5. So we just put minus 1 in its place as the input value. This is minus 2, minus 2. This is plus 6, plus 5, because there's two minuses here, making it a plus 6, and there's three minuses making it a minus. 11 minus 2 is 9. So... Okay, so turning points. Uh, coordinates or turning points, stationary points at when x is 1, y is 1. And when x equals minus 1 and y equals 9, at 1, 1, it was a min, wasn't it? When x is 1, min when x is 1, a min. And this was a max, as we mentioned earlier.